In this video I'm going to show you how to fit the Procon 52 which is a BNC uh, CCTV plug. A um, little different to the standard plug where you'd need a special tool um, to fit them, you, you, like a little crimp tool that you'd use. On these you, you don't need that tool. Um, absolutely ideal for people that are used to fitting um, aerial uh, coax plugs because you fit these in exactly the same way. Um, <clears throat> you've got the back ring that you unscrew you've got the grip the cable grip you've got the plug itself you've also got you can get a little screwdriver and give, give the pin a little push just to knock it out but you've also got um, an extra bit in there so this is a four part plug um, you'll notice the little grub screw under the grub screw and that's the bit that's going to grip your cable uh, so you're going to put your cable up the centre there <clears throat> we're going to use the uh, Pro Strip 01 tool to do this um, fantastic little tool if you've not got one get one uh, they're available on our website um, need calibrating for the cable that you're using uh, and there's a video on YouTube that shows you how to calibrate uh, the tool um, so this is the tool that we're going to use put the cable in like so it's flush to the black plastic give it a twist that does two things that strips the first part so that exposes the inner core and it also makes a, a, sh a shallower cut on the cable on the PVC um, to expose the, the shielding so you end up with a cable like that <clears throat> put your first part of the plug on then just to make things a little easier you can open the grip like so pass that over the very next thing you need to do is to make sure that none of this braiding is touching the inner core very very important uh, for two reasons. First reason is it's going to cause attenuation. If even one strand of this shielding, the braiding, is touching the, 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 the centre core, that will cause attenuation on the signal. The other reason is that it, it will also um, create a short on the cable. Now that will stop DC passing uh, through the cable. If it's a master damp that you're using, or for example with CCTV, uh, if you're using a POC, the, the power over cable type camera, uh, it will fail. It, it won't you. It, it won't operate. Uh, the power won't travel through the cable. So it's very very important. I cannot stress how important that is. Nice clean plug. Make sure that none's touching. Get that part of the plug. We undid the um, the little grub screw there. And you're going to push the cable down the centre of that. And you might find that you've not undone the um, the grub screw enough, in which case just do it a little bit more until your cable goes down. Now tighten that grub screw. Don't over tighten it. Uh, if you over tighten it, you risk damaging that centre core um, and potentially having it snap so just be careful not to over tighten put the main part of the plug over all of this like so and bring the back part up if you're struggling to actually get the thread to cross um, then turn it the other way that engages the thread and then you should find that the plug goes on a lot easier um, by doing that so tighten that right up nice and tight and what you'll end up with is a plug that looks like that you can see the grip is actually bitten into the the PVC jacket so that plug will not come off now it's a nice firm solid plug and that's how you fit a Procon 52 the CCTV plug